Hello and welcome to another video of stuff. <laughs> of lots and lots of stuff. Like I said, this is our first year and we are doing a Harry Potter dark arts, dark academia. What other words can I throw into this? I don't know, um, but I'm excited. And today's haul, uh, well, first of all, check out my <laughs> very cheaply made um, spider web shirt. I wish it didn't have a spider here. It gives me a little too much of a, a Spider-Man vibe, <laughs> which I don't I don't want. Uh, we're, we're going spooky here. Spider-Man is not spooky. Uh, but I got my spider earrings. Um, these I got at Kohl's. I can't remember how much, but they are the Vera Wang. Vera Wang? I don't know how you say her name. I don't really go to Kohl's often, but I check everywhere for Halloween. So today I'm, again, surrounded by stuff because we are starting from scratch and I've done save them. You know what? I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to defend myself. If you're here and you're watching this, you're okay with stuff. It's not triggering to you. Okay. So like, let's get going. We are doing Michael's today. Yesterday, well, not yesterday, but the previous video, we did Joanne's. Um, and I have a touch more stuff in Michael's, so I'm going to be getting on it. Um, and trying to not do this. <laughs> so let's get started. So I'm starting with classic stuff and some stuff that you've already seen in the previous video. Um, well, not this guy. So at Michael's, like a lot of places, they have the basic carving pumpkins and some of them can look real cheap, um, but I've never done one of these. So I thought it would be really cool to look up the pumpkins in the Great Hall, and I think they're in some other places too in Harry Potter, and see what sort of faces they have going. I have already previously looked, but to get a real detail of the face and to carve that and eventually have a whole bunch, you know, over the years carved with the faces that you see in Harry Potter. And then like in the last haul, I'm not even sure this is the last of these things, okay? Cause you can't have enough. But I got more cauldrons. Um, Michael showed up with cauldrons. I, I, I thought these were going to be a hard find in general, um, but no. And what's different about these cauldrons, so these are also ceramic. Again, oh, we have prices. I did not remove them, but I've removed prices from a lot of things. So if I don't mention the price, it's not for lack of awareness about it. Um, but I will put any and all links down below of everything. Um, and like with Joann's, do not pay full price. It's outrageous, some of their prices. This one is $20, which actually isn't too awful. I think Michael's is a little more fair than Joann's, if you ask me. Um, but what's different is the, the uh, I don't have the Joann's ones, but the handles uh, come up, which is really nice because you can hold them. And with the Joann's ones, Joann's, Joann's ones, they do not have legs. So these have little legs um, and I'm very excited. I do not know. I, I will find out when we get to decorating, but it does not stop there. I have one more and I've seen variations of this at home goods and it is, if I'm very careful, let's see if you can see, it's on a wire rack and it's a set of three cauldrons and they're made of glass. So particularly flat, fra flagile, fla fragile. Um, and with somebody uh, in, in my hands, they're not, um, not a great idea, but, and of course painted black. Well, not of course, I saw some at home goods that were gold, um, but these, I definitely am thinking of doing like some lighting inside, um, maybe some fog or maybe even just food. I don't know, we will see. And then next up, so we're going through a, like a lot of the basic stuff and then we're gonna move a little more into what I feel is really in-world Harry Potter inspired. So I've got some basic table covers. I do find a lot of these are pretty cheap, um, but I don't think you can really go wrong with spider webs. I don't like vinyl. I don't like the vinyl table covers. They just, they just feel cheap to me and you wouldn't see that in the world. You would see cloth. So that's what I get. And I got 
So I don't know if you remember or if you saw in the Joann's video, I got some stuff for terrariums and we'll see more of that. And so I needed to get the inside part. So we've got like the filler um, and not just terrariums. I have other ideas too. This one is more of a black and these were $10, $10, how much are you? Um, free, we do not say. Uh, that one was green and this one's kind of cool because it has a few different colors in there and textures, which I really want. I also think, I was just thinking this, I also think these would be really good in potions. So I hadn't even thought about that. Like this one here gives me um, gillyweed vibes a lot. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Um, and then we've got some kind of like black crystals that will go inside of the terrariums. I'm not gonna be able to make all of these terrariums this year, um, but I wanna at least make one. We're gonna do a D we're gonna do a bunch of DIYs, I hope. And so with the terrariums, we need more figures. And we got a few things we I don't know if you remember, we got those little cauldrons, a couple gravestones, and a couple brooms. Um I have a tiny Harry Potter who came with the Ford Anglia, the, um, the die cast Ford Anglia, Ford Anglia. And he's just the right size for something like this. So I'm gonna use him. Um, though I have seen you could get other figures that look like a little boy and you can paint them. And I might do that too. But I was picking up the things that Michaels has, um, Lee Max, that's how you say it, uh, where they do their little spooky towns and they're really cool. They just don't fit into the Harry Potter world. Okay. And I'm keeping on theme here. So, but the, with the little figures and the little things, they, they do fit in. So this first one here is lamp posts, these tiny little lamp posts. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but in the lamp post, they have like a little image of a skull that I'm hoping I can kind of remove. Um, but I think of lamp posts when I see like Privet Drive, um, just these old style lamp posts, I think would really fit in. And of course you can't go wrong with more, um, tombstones, little graveyard scene. You can't go wrong with pumpkins. Uh, I got two of those. And then this one I thought was cool. So I'm probably going to skip the Dracula one. But this one here, let's see if I could take it out. Yes, we've got, I mean, it says Hagatha on it, so I might repaint the um, mailbox, but you've got um, a snake, you've got a frog, or you can say a toad, think Neville Longbottom. We've got a broom, um, a witch hat, all the things. Um, and I might be able to paint the other one to look and fit in world. And then this one, bear with me. Oh, Lordy, Lord Baldy, help me. <laughs> We've got, she, okay, she doesn't look exactly like her. And maybe there's some tweaking I can do, but I think for now, especially the little, <laughs> especially the little, um, like she's from the Wizard of Oz or something, but she gave me McGonagall vibes, mainly because she's an old lady in, in a witch style outfit with a cat, you know, and she transforms into a cat in the films. So there you have it. And now as far as more like kind of cliche, um, uh, or more not cliche, but standard stuff that you would see. And then I'm moving over here into like the very in inspired, I think, Harry Potter items. I have candlesticks, candle, candle holders, candle, these things. <laughs> and I got two of these and two of these are two different sizes. Um, so should not show my face, <laughs> but I really liked the texture of them out of the camera. There we go. Bravo, Aubrey. Bravo. So I think a white candle would really contrast with it, but if I don't want to contrast, I could do um, a good solid black. And then, uh, speaking of candles, and I think these fit, let me check real quick. Ooh, here, oh, baby. 
I'll think they do. We've got just your basic, these are the wax ones though. They're wax LED candles. Here, I'll show you the smaller one. And, and I think these are like a flicker candle too. So my goal is to over the years, because these are not cheap, how much was this? Please tell me how much this was. Oh, Aubrey, why do you do this? Every time I will link things below, um, but they're not cheap. And my goal is to have a whole bunch of them because I can't be burning the house down with too many candles. I love candles, but we need to, we need to reel it in a little bit with, uh, with what we burn and to keep it lasting long every year. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of these in various sizes and widths. And I kind of imagine it covering like a nice tablescape, like a, a dining room table, um, across a table runner and just a whole bunch. Um, I mean, obviously that would fit into the Harry Potter world, their white candles or more beige. I try to avoid pure white. Um, and then next, I, I clearly got a little crazy with, um, I don't know if they're, I guess they're, are they ravens or crows? Ravens? I don't know. On skulls. Things on skulls. So I'm really thinking like Borgen and Burke's vibe. That's kind of what I'm thinking through all of this. Borgen and Burke's, Dementors, um, Death Eaters, all of that kind of stuff. And when you watch Harry Potter and you look at Borgen and Burks, I've also been doing some reference work to um, look at Universal and see Borgen and Burks there. They have so many oddities, and that's what we're going to get into a little bit more, um, that, that are just sitting around and have collected dust, if you will. I am thinking, so this is a, like I mentioned in the Joanne's video, I do want to do subtle references to other sort of horror things that I love because I do love horror and if you know this reference Nevermore it is Edgar Allan Poe and I'm a big fan of Edgar Allan Poe however I might change that out I looked at it and the way it's attached I could well I could either kind of do over it I'm not sure just yet or redo the whole thing paint it black and reattach it and it could say Borgen and Burks I thought that would be cool like sitting at a doorway entrance or something um and then because we're doing like things on top of skulls, let's do a skull on top of a thing <laughs> because I can't help myself. Um, again, and I really like this one because the, the paint job's really good, I think. And there's a nice dusting of silver. I'm mixing, mixing metals. I'm not really trying to stick with just silver or black, although I might in different areas. And again, I feel like this would fit into Borgen and Burks. Same for the rest of this stuff over here. We've got a little crow on a skull, because I can't, <laughs> why? Why Michaels? I, I blame Michaels, okay, it's not my fault. <laughs> but this one's kind of yapping away. However, when I got this, so it's hooked, I don't know if I will hook it on anything. We will see when we go to decorate. Um, and there's a little bit of moss on the bottom. Not sure if you can see that, but my initial thought was to get some Harry Potter like animals, creatures that are smaller, well-made hopefully, um, because I did make sure that this could be removed or opened up and put them inside, add even more moss. There's, there's almost always ways you can elevate something, I think, or make it be more in world. So that's my plan um, with that. And then we've got some dishes I couldn't pass up or like, I guess they're like candy holders, trinket trays, whatever you want to call them. The first one is like ravens. I heard somebody say these were angels and I'm like, that would be a weird choice for Halloween. Okay. <laughs> like, um, they're either crow or, or, uh, raven wings, little tray holder. Stop focusing on me camera. <laughs> I'll tell you what. But this one I love more because, as I mentioned in that video, I love bats. I have just a, a soul connection to bats. And we have this one here. So cool. And with that, I picked up this guy who I think I already know where I'm going to hang him, but he hangs. Let's take a little look at that guy. Oh, he's fancy. And even when you lay him down on top of this tray, if you wanted to, it wouldn't really work completely, but it fits pretty well in there. 
This one doesn't fit super well, but I guess it does when you think of um, the Grimm in the scene with Trelawney. Is just a, a basic teacup, and this particular teacup has a little bat inside, and it's very simple. It's a little glossier than I would normally go for, but I think I think it's really good to blend textures, um, different colors of black if that's a thing, and blend different textures. So, and it's got a little gold trim if you can see that. Okay, so now we're getting into more of the oddities and stuff that I was like, oh my god, this really is giving me Harry Potter vibes. I mean, it, it all is, but some of it's a little bit more filler, a little more in-world, a little bit um, more subtle. And it's still subtle. Like, I didn't buy these from my Harry Potter shop. We have other videos for that. Okay. <laughs> um, where I won't be cramming as much stuff in a video, I hope, so I can spend a little bit more time with each item. Um, but... All right, let's get it. So these are, I guess this is a little bit more filler. It's just a, just a little snake skeleton guy. They're not super well made. So I'm thinking I'll put it in what I'm going to show you next. Um, if not, just, just out and about snaking around. I don't know. I couldn't resist these guys. Mind the chain noise, but... It is just a beautiful, simplistic glass coffin. And I did not get just one. No, I got two because they came in two different sizes. Look at them. Oh, I think they're stunning. They're so simple. I don't know what the chain is for. Maybe you're meant to like hang it. But I'm more thinking like um, crystals, because again, Trelawney vibes. I, I, honestly, crystals can feel, fit into a lot of places. Um, little creatures, little spiders, I don't know, stuff like that. Then we have been looking for lanterns in all sorts of places. Let's see if I can open this guy. There's the open. There's the open at the close. Um, so we'll probably be putting a candle in this. This was the first one that we saw that we actually liked. I think I'll probably be looking online for a lantern and or thrift stores for a cool lantern. Okay, this, I lied. <laughs> this next item is another item that gives me vibes of another horror-esque uh, thing that I love because I love Easter eggs in things and I thought it would be so cool to kind of have Easter eggs in my house where everything is just uh, loud and very clearly Harry Potter, but then we have these little Easter eggs that maybe maybe people won't pick up, but we certainly will. And this next one is one of those things. Put in the comments below. Um, as you can tell, this is a clock. God dang this light. I'll tell you what, I didn't know these YouTubers, how much light they blast into their eyeballs until I went to do all of this. And boy, is it some some pomp and circumstance to get this going, I tell you what. Um, but yeah, this one reminded me. Oh, and I don't know if you could see the little bat on top. He's so cute. It reminded me of the latest season of Stranger Things. If you know, you know. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's definitely an oddity sort of thing. A curiosity. A, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I forget. I just asked my husband the word. Uh, a relic is the word. And that's what we're going to get into right here are some relics. Um, like this one here, Michael's had. And again, prices. What was the price on that? The price on the clock was $22. But like I said, do not pay that full price, please. Um, so we've got this relic looking thing with a skull. It's the same thing, I believe, on both sides. And it offers a little bit of another color, which I really like, a kind of rusty look. And uh, I don't know, I mean, these are runes, obviously, but I don't know what else it's meant to be, but creepy. And that's what we're going for here. Same for this thing. I mean, we know that time plays a, a big role in Harry Potter, what with the time turner and all. And just in general, time always plays a role, but I thought this time, um, Oh my god, hourglass, Aubrey. This hourglass really fits in. 
and it's black sand with a nice little gold and black um, hand on either side. I always want to test these hourglasses and see if they're actually an hour. I really doubt it with this one. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm talking so fast, but I have so much to move through. I swear I'll be able to chat a little bit more uh, in future videos when I haven't accumulated a lot of stuff, we'll say. <laughs> and then we've got these little jars. This one says cemetery dust and back claws. And I've already filled one of them. I mean, my husband wasn't super keen on these, but I think they can subtly fit in whether I keep the tops on or not. Oh, Lori. And that inside leads me to another item I got. Didn't I have two different? Okay. We've got these little flies. So these were not cheap. I think they were a pair for $5.99 um, full price, but I had already got a, um, you, you want to use the app when you're doing Michaels. I learned from other Halloween people to use the app and get some points. Um, but I thought, I don't know, I thought the flies could fit in, but I mainly was going for these spiders, which a lot of spiders you see in stores, and I'll show you some in a later video, are very cheaply made and um, not really very three-dimensional. Spiders obviously play a big role, what with Aragog and everything. Um, the spiders climbing on the wall in the Chamber of Secrets. I do have that right, yes. <laughs> um, so I'm either gonna be using these on the wall, although I have some other ones that I think are more fitting to that, or just have them like out and about or in that little coffin tray We'll see. We'll see when we get to actually decorating. I'm trying to haul all this stuff so we can get to decorating. And then I have a few of these um, book boxes. A lot of them I find are really cheaply made, like really blurry type images. Um, but I really couldn't resist this one. And at Michael's, they had a canvas print of this one. Um, but I really like the book box a lot more. And that's the inside of it. It's like a velvety feel on the sides. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is I feel like the words should be written the other way around. So when you lay it this way, you can read it, but alas, your wax, they did not think that through, Michaels. Okay, all right, we're coming to the end. Um, just lay these on me because I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I just, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do faux flowers. First of all, they tend to be a lot more overpriced than I realized they were because I was never in the market for looking for them. But because I want some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is going to stay around all year round. Okay. It just is what it is. I'm a ghoul all year round. Um, and there was something about these that, I don't know, I just like the texture. It didn't read quite as plasticky to me because I don't love plastic. But if I'm not going to be getting rid of it and I can make good use out of it every year, then I'm going to do that. So I haven't decided yet. I might be breaking them apart, putting them in different places. We'll see when we go to decorate. Then we have two different signs. So this one, they had a few different ones and I almost regret not getting one of them. But again, this gives me Trelawney vibes. What does it say? Sees all, knows all. And I'll show you um, something else that kind of fits in with this quite well. I might take this one to work. I have a wall of art. I've already decorated my desk there, but I have a wall that I'm redoing all the art there. Speaking of which, I have this next one at work. I bought two of them. And it's another sign. And it says, Happy Halloween. And the reason that I got this sign, first of all, I didn't want to do a lot of things that said Halloween because you don't really see that said. And I just don't like a lot of words on stuff. I like the stuff to sort of speak for itself. Um, but I picked this one because first of all, and my husband pointed this out, the snake is very Slytherin-y. The um, green in the background is also very Slytherin-y. So I think it could be really subtle and kind of behind some stuff and you can just, you know, you can still see it and see the snake. Um, yeah, I just like the cut. I think it pulls in some golds and stuff like that. And next, let's see. This isn't like straight Harry Potter, but it it just, it lights up. 
It's not super bright. I think I have the batteries in. Come on, buddy. Work with me. Um, maybe I didn't put the batteries in. We won't bother, but it does light up and it's a little more of a blue color when it lights up, but it's crystals, you know? It's crystals in a cauldron. And so I feel like I wanted more elements of light and I'm gonna be playing a little bit with green because of the Slytherin house. Um, and so many, you know, the dark, the dark kind are in the Slytherin house. I need to fix that. The paint jobs are a little touch and go at Michael's, so you gotta be picky. Um, then I got, so I'm looking for a lot of like orb shaped things. And this one, I think I do actually have the batteries in, but I don't know if you can notice the difference. It's really cool. So it's got little bats and suns and it's black. And the color is, um, I would say kind of a blend between green and yellow. So it gives another green tone and fits into that slitherin world and adds more of this sort of orb look. So we have a lot of these orbs and glasses and stuff. And speaking of which, I picked this up. Oh my God, we're gonna get through this future tells all. The main reason it is a snow globe with little bats around it. Are you kidding me? I love bats. But what does this make you think of in Harry Potter? It's a big eyeball. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Mad-Eye Moody. Um, so anything that just screams like, oh my god, that reminds me of so-and-so or, you know, whether it's not in the world or it just reminds me of that person or it just feels like an oddity. I think it can work really well. And speaking of reminds me, we've got this beetle, which I've seen a handful of people get it and say it's very fragile. And I am a person that breaks things easily. So I'm amazed I haven't broken it yet. Um, and also the paint jobs on these are again, touch and go. So I got one that was very well painted, I think. And it's got a pretty cool base. But this reminds me, I don't know if you remember, um, Rita Skeeter, and um, Hermione, if I'm remembering right. Uh, speaking of which, Litjoy just did a pin of that beetle. But yeah, it reminded me of that. And then the last thing that as soon as I saw it, I'm like, of course this fits into Harry Potter. Hold on while I make some noise. What does this remind you of in Harry Potter? Azkaban. So, I got two of these, and I really, let me, God, let me pick them up first. Oh, and we have a price tag. Congratulations, Aubrey. They were $10. So they have a nice, I think, finish on them with that little silvery vibe, um, but a good amount of black. So, and I've got some others too from another store that we'll get into, um, but Azkaban is obviously another very dark place that I want to pull into um, and, and feel like Harry Potter. So some of this, some of the chains I think are going to go outdoors because we've got a little scene. We don't have a lot of room, but I've got a lot of ideas. So I got to fit them in this house, um, but we have three floors so I can make it happen. Okay. Um, it's this house is going to become entirely Harry Potter. I promise you. Uh, no, I don't promise, but mostly Harry Potter. But anyway, that wraps up. This is, I knew this was going to be a slightly longer video than the last one. That wraps up the Michaels haul. Oh my God, can we take a breather? Um, it's been a lot and I have a lot more coming to you. I feel like a consumer when I'm posting. I told my husband this a video after video after video of stuff, but this is just the accumulation that we have um, acquired for our first year. So I'm very excited. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm looking forward to being the house on the block that pulls off Harry Potter, um, definitely in the house. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember as always to love what you love with everything that you have, no matter what anyone says. And um, you know, just keep believing in magic and we'll see you next time. Bye.